Well today we're going to be making buttermilk fried rabbit and what I've already done is got my rabbit eggs and I've marinated them overnight in some buttermilk and I've added some um, Kentucky spices to this it's been in the fridge for 24 hours and the other thing I'm going to do is get this spice mix I've made up here which consists of smoked paprika garlic powder salt and pepper and um, a little bit more of the uh, southern fried spices this is for my flour what we're going to dunk it in to season it up so it's quite an easy recipe this one so what I'm going to do is just get the fryer on and get this uh, underway right so the fryer's up to temperature now so what I'm going to do is just take one of these back legs and just try and shake just a little bit of the excess buttermilk off place it in the flour give it a good dusting it needs to be really really covered and the spice mix that I've made up it smells really good but this will go well with um, pheasant, partridge and obviously the rabbit you can use the uh, thighs of the birds you can use the shoulder and the loin from the rabbit but I think the back legs work the best I should have got a bigger bowl Like I said, give that a good covering. Right then, so let's get this to the fryer and get this underway. Right, so what I'm going to do is just place the uh, rabbit leg in. I'm going to do one at a time, don't want to overload the fryer. Just place it in gently. I've got these fryers set at about, about 160 so I don't want a quick high fry I just want a nice, a nice medium one just so it crisps up and cooks the meat it'll probably take about 5 to 7 minutes depending on the size of the egg so I'm going to get these fried off once they're fried, we can't throw them to some baking paper to drain off. Well here it is, the final product. And it smells absolutely fantastic. And this skin, well it's not in the skin, that batter is really crispy. So, you have to excuse me now, but a bit of barbecue, it's got to be done. Mmm, that... That's beautiful. And just soaking it overnight in our buttermilk, it does help tenderise it. But I just can't get over the uh, spice mix. Right, so if you guys want to know my spice mix, just um, comment and I'll uh, give it to you. Because there is a few more bits in there, so I'll have to uh, look in my book to see what I'll put in. But I hope you like this one. Give it a try. It's a winner. And I'll see you soon.